Michelangelo. <laughs> picture doesn't look as fun as our game was yesterday. And I'm trying to build a really, really big snowman, but I, 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 I can't move. I slipped down a snow hill and landed halfway up a snow mountain. That's not snow, Dada. Huh, I guess not. I wonder wow. where we are. Huh? Oh. Um, uh, excuse me, oh. sir. Uh, we were wondering where we are. You are in the finest marble quarry in Italy, and I am Michelangelo, the sculptor, ah. looking for the magical here on Earth. Huh? My next piece. Ah, there you are. Could you pass me my hammer? Uh -huh. and that pouch of wooden pegs. Wow, be Michelangelo at work. You actually see something in there? Yes, I see a figure. And I am going to free it. Whoa, it's going to be huge. Well, for now, it is just this piece. I will free it from the mountain right along this natural crack here. Oh. See, the pegs will swell with water and cause the rock to break away from the mountain. Ooh. But we better move away. It is quite heavy. But how are you going to get it home? I hire a crew. They are over there right now moving a big piece I chose this morning. did -da, wow! They're moving a piece of mountain. Do you see that, Maddie? They're using rollers. <laughs> oh. Just like me. Huh? huh? We don't need to wait for the crew. I can move this back to your studio. Let's go! <coughs> <coughs> ah, stone dust. <coughs> it would not be home without it. Marvelous! You have done the work of ten men! Michelangelo, what's inside this piece of marble? It is a boy. He is squatting, crouching down, looking at his foot. Do you see? Yes, I do. Whoa, yeah. And da da, whoa! I can see inside that block, too. There's a man in this one, and he's very strong. I can see all his muscles, uh, but I can't see his head. I can see him, too, because he's already been carved out. Almost. This is Atlas, one of the giants that ruled the Earth in Greek mythology. Ooh, mythology. I love those stories. In this story, Atlas tried to take the power from the gods and rule the Earth. And Zeus, the mightiest of the gods, punishes Atlas, making him carry the world on his shoulder. Is that going to be the world or, or his head uh, when he's finished? I think this is his finished, unfinished form. Did what? The... Huh? Yes, I think Atlas is perfect as is. He's showing us what it is like to be human. <laughs> like this? Big and strong? <laughs> moving big, heavy things? <laughs> yes, indeed. Our bodies are magical. They know when it is time to eat and sleep. They know how to heal when they get hurt. And most importantly, they've got a memory box. Unlike other animals, we can learn to talk and be magically creative in so many different ways. Ooh, look, Maddie. <laughs> but sometimes huh? we forget that when we are struggling and frustrated. And then we get even more stuck in the snow. <laughs> yes, ah. I am sure we have all felt like Atlas here, unable to see anything else but our problem. But how can you make something out of stone look so lifelike? I just carve into the marble and stop when I reach the skin. <laughs> I found the foot and knee and elbow first, removing all the stone around them. And then the figure slowly emerged. Oh, it's like he's coming out of water. You make it sound so easy, but I could see it's not. And the way you left it, not quite finished. Non finito. <laughs> yeah, non finito. Makes me see that this perfectly shaped body is really made out of this rough stone. <laughs> Atlas and I both struggle with stone. But whenever we are stuck, we must remember that our very nature is magical. <laughs> I like to use my magical muscles. It makes me feel strong. Huh? Da -da, whoa! What was that? It's a painting that's jumping out of its frame. Hey, this is kind of like my snowball fight drawing, but it's alive with action. It's like a theater made out of marble. You are right. It is a story, and I drew it with my chisel. Is it another Greek myth? It is. I did this when I was a teenager. 
It's <laughs> called Battle of the Centaurs. Well, I don't see any centaurs in there. Ah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'd want to get out of there, too. It looks so busy and crowded. How do you make it look so alive with movement, but it's really still? It is the contrapposto. When there's a twist or turn in the body, hmm? it makes it look like it is moving. Yeah, I see it. Atlas is doing that, too. Contraposto. It really shows movement. Da -da, yeah, lots of movement. From the rough to the polished, from the coarse to the divide. You're using the stone itself to also show the meaning of the story. There is no idea that cannot be expressed in marble. I can't wait to rework my drawing with Contraposto. And I can't huh? wait to start on my new piece. It was an honor to visit with you. Bye! Bye! <laughs> Bye. He did lots of great art. He even painted a whole big, long ceiling! The Sistine Chapel! I know! And I can't believe the famous Michelangelo taught me about contraposto! It really works! What do you think? There's so much action in there, I get tired just looking at it. Uh, it's hard being big and strong all day. I guess you were too tired to start any artwork then? Nope, I'm already finished. It's a non-finito piece. It's more like a non-begunno piece. I call it snow before the plane. <laughs> Well, your imagination isn't too tired. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. I'll place it beside our other snow sculpture outside. Uh, tomorrow. <gasps> huh? <Whoa>. <laughs> 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 Da-da! I don't have my own style of painting. All the artists that I look at all have their own... And here's the one of the beautiful blue flower I took in the field. And here's the red flower. And the yellow one. <laughs> look! Anything to say, Dada? <laughs> Woohoo! That horrific piece of cake!